I think we go face with it. He only has the one brain. So this is now going to be a 6-5. Six, 7-6, seven, six, guys. Because we, we had four amphibious minions. He's dead. Oh, that's lethal. Come on. That's a 8 and 7. <laughs> that was turn 4, guys. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing Bean Tron. This is going to be sort of a take on the really good Citron decks, which are tempo. We're adding in some more aggression. So we are running our base of Guardian Package. Forget-me-nuts, which is going to be very important in this. Deck, uh, making your opponent's tricks cost one more. Triceratops is anyway just a really good aggressive card that does a lot of damage over time. And Photosynth gets a lot of value. And Photosynthesizer will be increasing the health of your minions. And this really will work well with Beans, especially like you might be able to even play an early like turn one or turn two Admiral Navy Bean and then protect it by giving it extra health. Uh, protecting it by preventing your opponent from playing tricks, which is the main way they are going to be removing your Admiral Navy Bean. Uh, and you also like have a bunch of superpowers, particularly Root Wall and Peel Shield, that can protect uh, your guys from dying, which will help protect your beans. Another cool thing is that if you're setting up early Admiral Navy Bean, let's say with a Lima Pluridon, and maybe uh, with a uh, Rotobago, which is a nice aggressive card, it's going to make your turn three, turn four uh, Navy Marine Beans uh, turn into a sort of really aggressive card. Like even a three cost four three is an overstatted card, and that's with one amphibious minion on the board. Uh, this with two amphibious minions on the board is a three cost five four. It's insane value, especially again if you're combining it with a lot of other cards. You have a low curve in this deck, so you should on turns four and five have good cards to complement this by playing, let's say, your Lima Pluridon, uh, and then you'll have two beans on the board, and then Marine Bean, you know, a, a freaking 5-4 on turn, um, on turn 4 is pretty darn good. Uh, what else we got in this deck? So we are running some uh, Bog of Enlightenment, which takes the place of an environment. It will be able to not only uh, prevent your opponent from hitting you and cover their environments, but also it will buff the attack of all the many amphibious minions that we are running in this deck. Particularly the Rotobega, because then it does 8 damage since it will be increased by 2 doubly since it attacks twice in the two lanes next doors. What else we got going on? Uh, running some cool bean, let's say instead of blockbuster because it's a bean, and then we're running uh, jelly bean since you have a lot of little beans to cover, so we're going to be running this, let's say instead of spring bean that we typically be running in this deck. Shrinking Violet really gets extra value because the uh, Shrinking Violet not only is it just a very good card, but you're also running Bog of Enlightenment, which will decrease the attack of your opponent's uh, dudes, which will make them easier to just kill outright with the Shrinking Violet. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. I resisted the temptation last minute to add regular Navy Bean into the stack, which is a 4 cost 3 3. Buff your amphibious minions by 1 1. Oh! It's kind of sad. Because even with it, with. it hits par. It's bad by itself. It hits par if you have one bean on the field. It's not even that good. It's a 4 cost 4 4. With two beans on the field, now it's 5 5 worth of stats with no ability, which isn't even that great. We're going to remove the trash. We're going to get it going here. I think this into Dude is pretty good. I just wonder if I should be looking for a photosynthesizer or for a shrinking violet. Uh, I think Cool Bean is probably good enough. The situation right now is do I play around Trapper territory or do I play around literally everything? And I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be everything else. So I can actually protect this on turn two. With the Rotobega. I guess I could play some Heights and play Rotobega here. It's about the same thing unless he puts a two health minion, which why would he? <clears throat> uh, he cannot play any tricks. So we'll get him with that. I guess it doesn't really matter. Use Bird instead of what? Oh, bats, guys. These games should go fast. I think we have time for 10 games today. So if you think we're going to win, 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm raising the bar, guys. We went down to 7 out of 10. 
We're back to eight. Eight out of ten's a yes. Seven out of ten's a no. Over here in the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Frama. So a, a, a gravestone is a good one. This is very likely just going to be flame phase, something with two health. So this ends up being an insanely good play. I'm going to go for it. High risk, high reward. Yes. So he does nothing. His flame face is stunted. And we're doing 10 damage on turn 3, which is absolutely gross. I mean, disgusting. Yes. Yes. So happy. And we still have this cool beam for later. Oh, <laughs> shrinking violet. We'll take it. Uh, the question is, do we go face or do I front this? The cool beam obviously gets a lot of value. But we should probably just go face. We're, we're really knocking right now. Uh, in case it's not Pogo, I guess I'll just do this. So we proc the block and then do 8 damage. Nope, it's not Pogo. Doesn't he have a bungee plumber? Can he pull a bungee plumber out of it? Why this one? It's frozen! Dude, it's frozen! That doesn't do any... That's guaranteed lethal. He can't do it. Well, the... he will need to get exactly... No, no, it is guaranteed. Yeah, it, it, it's no, it's not. It's never lethal. He's down to two. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was guaranteed. It's guaranteed not lethal. The most we could do there is four. The least we could do is two. Anyway, I don't know what that. <laughs> yes, buff the frozen minion, guys. Whatever you do, whatever they say, always buff minions who are frozen. That's how you win at PvZ Heroes, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. La 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 We have people in the chat calling Tenno Sweep right now. This is a good matchup. We want to just get... We don't even need Photosynthesizer in this matchup. We want as many aggressive cards... As humanly freaking possible, especially Admiral Navy Mean. Should I keep this because it's the only answer to... I don't think I am. Alright, it's a hand. It's not an awesome hand. Really wanted to see Admiral Navy Mean our starting hand against this dude. Really glad we didn't keep Forget-Me-Nuts. But yeah, we'll have two Amphibious. You know, even Sting Bean, it's not the strongest card. It's adding free Bullseye damage for a one cost. It's really not bad. One cost Bean. Amphibious Bean. Uh, so it can be played in the Baug. Let's see what this guy's got. I'd love if he positioned something right here so we could just Roto Vega. This looks good. There's a play where you do these two instead. I think we can always do that later. Right now, Navy Beans 3 cost 5 4, which is disgusting. Come on! Uh, uh, just one health, something with <laughs> can't <Okay, it> works. <laughs> one attack. I'll take one attack. He's also basically gonna have a one cost five for him. It's a Valk. It's the worst four drop in the game. What do you know? Impastua. We actually could kill the Valk by playing this and not protect it. That's wild. Is that the dumbest idea ever? The simplest play here... Actually, there's this play and not cover the bog. This is wild. There's so many plays here. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, since he went down to zero, we can just do this play now. Uh, it doesn't cover this, this environment, but I think this is still better. We're doing five damage now. Falk's done. This environment set up. I don't know, is that good? We still don't know what his superpower is, right? It's probably not ultimate. So he probably does have an environment in there. Maybe on that consideration it wasn't that good. I, I really like to set up Triceratops, but these two is such a good play also. This is massive. This thing is, is tremendous. I think we go face with it. He only has the one brain. So this is now going to be a 6-5. Six, 7-6, seven, six, guys. Because we, we had four amphibious minions. He's dead. Oh, that's lethal. Come on. 
The man is toast. That's a eight and seven. <laughs> that was turn four, guys. That was wild. Get wrecked, bro. That's some highlight intro action right there. That's what I think it is. I think, I think we just saw the... I think if you're watching this on YouTube, you've seen this, this part of the video already. That's what I think. I think that's what's up. It's New Year's... It's a uh, Christmas... Not New Year's Eve. It's Christmas Eve. If it was New Year's Eve, I'd probably be doing a special stream for, like, best deck of each, whatever. Best deck of your mom! Uh, so this is going very well so far. Honestly, that might have been a keep right there. Alright. So far, Rota Vega has been hard carrying. <laughs> hard carrying. Uh, let's absorb the Rolling Stone. That will be nice. Get Jebate. <laughs> Jebating Rolling Stone is really good there. Jebating Smash Power is just OP. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't do I deal. I don't. I don't. I mean, just trying to think. Amphibious minions, not. I'm just thinking. Should this go here or here? It doesn't really matter. It's very unlikely from the play anything in the water, but I guess this limits him from playing things in the water. So that's good. Now what? You got a nibble? Oh, you got a nibble. So much for all that, all the hype. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Wow, he overcommitted. Committed. Who? Smash runs a lot of environments in Area 22. I hate to look at the guy's rank and say it's less likely for him to have Area 22. <laughs> State of the game, guys. So we can get three, or we can get a big one. I, I I think I like this. Maybe I should have done it here and killed this for free. Yeah, that was fun. Pie lucky streak. That's my cousin. Ah. <sighs> What else we got here? Bruh. It thick. It do be thick. I think one, one, and we'll go from there. And we'll hit him with shrinking. A better shrinking later. What's in the box? Can we get some, some, some of our... Come on. Let's get some of our stuff going on. Onion rings would be nice if we get some little beans. Would be nice indeed. Imagine this deck having onion rings in it. That would be awesome. This is a 5 4, man. It's crazy. It's even bigger if we onion rings first. Maybe he'll play something here and I'll get a good shrinking violet this turn. It's really weird playing off curve here. Like, shrinking. I don't know. He's just not dealing with this lane at all. Honestly, probably the 5 4 right now to face is really good. Let's just do that. I know the onion rings would make this have an extra 1 attack and 2 health base, but. That just means the damage happens more slowly, and I don't like it. But right now, between the Sting Bean absolutely popping off in lane 2, he's so afraid to front it on account of getting not enough value. I actually have 3 and 3. It would be cool if he played a, a Gravestone to make the Cool Bean worth it. I'll probably do that no matter what, though, unless, there's a really, unless he plays something finally after all these turns plays into Bog. 
And we have an awesome shrinking violet. That'll be the whole turn, though. Guaranteed lethal. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I think this is better. We don't really care about the two damage coming in. Just gotta keep getting those beans. Damn beans. Maybe him not proccing our block is actually the best play. I don't think he's gonna have an answer to this 5 4 though. Well, what could he have? He's got 8 damage coming on 6 health. The best he could have is Extinction Event, but don't do a damn thing. Or an environment. I guess black hole would turn it into five. <laughs> there wasn't really a way to be more aggressive there. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got him. I think we got him going good. I need a Tums. Anyone have a Tums? I'm so Jewish. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Wow. Okay, 3 0. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Okay. Guys, today's stream is not sponsored by Tums. Are you Jewish and you have freaking acid reflux like me? Take Tums, guys. <laughs> Goddamn Jews. Mmm. What would I do without Tums? See, here in Mexico, they have small Tums. Cause... <laughs> Cause... <laughs> Jews need big Tums, but there's very few Jews in Mexico, so they have little Tums. We gotta take three of these for it to work. Oh, here we go. Now, this is the hand that we've been waiting for. I don't even need this. I don't even care. Go as aggressive as possible in the HG. Suck, but okay. Okay, we're doing it like this. I'm doing this because I really feel the HG super coming. Oh, he's tough, stays good. I also really don't eat dairy. I actually had some lactose free yogurt today. It feels pretty good, man. Okay. Well,. Now's the time of the... Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Was I supposed to do this first? Okay, maybe I'll just... Should I slow this down? I kind of like this living here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Whoops. Was that the right play? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's funny though. So we can play Admiral here. Do this. Now we can spawn as infinity clones. Then we'll just buff here, land five. Looking pretty good. probably the only amphibious minion. And if it's not, then we wrote a bigger. He finally plays HG Super. Guys, the Forget-Me-Nuts was worth it. Forget-Me-Nuts is carrying right now. No! <laughs> God damn it! Oh well. We have an environment from Photosynthesizer, so... It's all good. I think it's just wrote a bigger Triceratops. Screw it. It's a one of you here. I just ramped <laughs> to the massive. I really wish I had a whole bag of jelly beans. Whole bag of them. Alright, so we're gonna give him one of these. Should I play this here so we can just more, go for more phase? I 
How do we do this? Played around shrinking violent with Ben. Should I just set this up? No, we just take as much damage as possible this turn, which is too. I guess we could have played Triceratops there, but it's okay. Get frozen! We'll probably have a good shrinking here. Or nor! <laughs> exactly, yes. He doesn't have a lot of help left either. This thing, this thing I like be able to die. Can we get a jelly bean? I haven't seen a jelly bean yet. This curve is a little nutty. We're supposed to have a lot of ones and twos, which we do, but we just never have them in hand when we're trying to, like, when it's turn five. We've already spent them. That's the problem. We need more ones and twos. The moral of the story. I think this shrinking is good enough here. Then we'll hit him with these two next turn. Good enough. Maybe I should have done it like this, though, and let this one die, because 6 plus 6 kills us. Yeah, that actually would have been smart. In fact, we're probably going to lose now, because I didn't do that. Because even if he rolls 2 and 2... Damn, did I just goof big time? I don't know why I'm so confident with this big Garg on the field, but that definitely should have played in lane 2. What am I doing? We need a miracle to win now. We need a bean. We need a bean! We got a bean! Oh, 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 we actually have an answer to this now! This was, this was top deck madness! This game is winnable now. Highly winnable game indeed. We could also just roll low and get a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of one... <laughs> Bra just he just rolled two and three. Uh yeah, we're kinda screwed now. He's got seven brains. I don't like the odds. I don't I don't like our odds. He got him down to one health, but the chances of us not I mean maybe he's going for a nutty bad moon rising. And we just win from the Rotobega hitting his face. Wow, he's actually doing it. Okay, just nothing stupid, please. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh hey! <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> you know what? I've gotten it myself so many times. It has to happen to me just to yin and yang. You know what I mean? Just to just to even it out. God damn it. <laughs> I think we had that guy too. No, we, we win that game about 90% of the time. I mean, he needs a, a Supernova Garg, a Rodeo Garg in one, or, or Zombot, and it's, I don't know what else. I guess Plankwalker in one would have done it. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Three and one. Guys, that's what it takes to beat this deck, okay? HG Super, Bad Moon Rising, Zombot. Guys, it's Gamer of Epic. He's back. <laughs> he's back. Guys, the good news is he's very limited because he can't run Imp with Professor Brainstorm. So clearly, he's just not going to have anything, really, if you think about it. Let's see what Gamer of Epic has come up with this time. You guys... He's back. I literally just uploaded the gamer event. When did I upload that? It was yesterday. That's wild. Alright, here comes Backup Dancer. It's Egg. <laughs> wow. It's not a bad conga. He's going face. 
This Chad is going face with the conga. He doesn't care. This man doesn't give a damn. This is probably the biggest Giga Chad I've ever played against, ever. Gamer of Epic. Yeah, no, I got outskilled last game for real. <laughs> he had the bungee, so he decided why not take the free damage to face? Cause block meter charge, that's why. I don't know about that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe <laughs> Okay, now this guy, now this Einstein decides to feed cards into my triceratops. That deserves a slow clap right there, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what is he doing? What is the dude doing? There's no point in playing forget me nuts. He can't play any tricks. I think preventing him from proccing our block is gonna go along right here. Zoink! Whee! If he plays a big card, we bounce it. If he doesn't, yeah, we've got like a big navy beam coming up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go Triceratops! It's a mill deck. We're beginning to learn our enemies here, guys. It is officially a mill deck. Could I just win with Tricare 7 and 5? Oh, that's a lot of damage. It'll be 7 4. Is 11. Can I add some bullseye here? No. Why don't we just do it like this? Oh no, whoops, I messed up. I forgot the Admiral hit, so this gets procced. It's okay. We'll still do four. Okay. This Rotobag, even though it dies for free, still does four damage, which is hefty. I could have gotten actually more damage with the Navy being there, though. He blocks to get summoning, though. Do, 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 do. Egg. <sighs> so the more forget me nuts this turn, the better. Um, I think it's just like this. <laughs> just go phase and make his tricks less efficient. Zoinks. Okay. <laughs> Good game, Gamer of Epic. The battles are always very legendary. When <laughs> Gamer of Epic is in the chat. <laughs> Milling into Triceratops and Beans are basically the two main decks you don't want to feed cards to. Let them draw with Regifter is beans that just excels on having a lot of cards and they spam you to death and Triceratops. So, yeah. Good game, Yash. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Yash, guys. I kept his identity secret in the video because I was roasting him, but Yash is a good sport. <laughs> anyway, this is a cool hand. Let's try it. Let's try the Amphibos. Oh. Okay. Honestly, we have Rotovig and then the answer to this, so it's all good. Do we just do the environment first, or do we take the two damage? If he had a Rolling Stone, I think he would have used it. Maybe he's going for, like, Mopta? I'm gonna go with my gut, which is actually play the Bog first. 
In case he was holding Rolling Stone. A lot of people... Uh, it's holding second environment. That sucks. A lot of people will actually, including myself, will hold the Rolling Stone on turn one if you're playing against Guardian so you can get the Tricarids up some too. It is a thing. Uh, this does prevent... Uh, weed spray it from happening this turn, which is kind of likely. Problem is, it can still happen this next turn. <laughs> I'd love to be able to get a jelly bean off, but... Oh! Another anti-weed spray? Wait. But he spent one. So we, we still... Well, maybe I just jelly bean here. All right, screw it. We'll get a better shrinking violet later on multiple targets. There's a lot of really good plays there, and I'm pretty sure going face for the most damage here is the best. Okay, chop is the one time that it's not, but we're still getting five, which is a lot. He's down to six now. I think the shrinking violet is going to straight up win us this game. So because shrinking here, it prevents, like, thinking cap. It also keeps the Rotobago alive. Uh, he'll still have four, so he can weed spray, but we can just commit this. It's really not bad. I think this is overall the best play. So now I can't weed spray anymore. And again, he'll weed spray next turn, but it's just too late. He's so low. We could win right here. Roll another one. That's all you. So, rock wall, ultimate, use chop. Heal he would use there. So he's definitely only on so rock wall or ultimate. Um, yeah, see, the weed spray basically takes his entire turn here. Um, I think it's gonna be like this. Which means he just dies to the 5 damage. Hit it, proccing his, his block meter charge is not a problem there. Because I think if he weed sprays, he'll only have one brain left and we're fine. That guy just got screwed by forgetting nuts. And I feel bad. And I kind of feel bad. Yeah, I don't feel bad. <laughs> Thank you, Deccan! Welcome to the primary! Oh, it was Arthur. You gifted one to Arthur? He's a troll! Don't gift him us <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Arthur, we're happy to have you. <laughs> He's a troll, though. He's a good kind of troll. There's good trolls, and then there's stupid trolls. Arthur... Arthur has his moments, you know? Alright, I like the, this hand against you, Gigantic. It's really good. Kingdom style. Whoop, 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 whoop. Admiral Navy B nine one love to say it. <laughs> we need a leap. We need a leap. We do need a leap. That is true. We need several leaps. Thank you, Yash. Just gifted a sub to who, though? Just to the community? Everyone sub now, guys. I don't get it. Oh, here it is. It was to Kime. Thank you, Yash. What is he doing past turn three? Backyard bounce? I'm so very confused. I really want to start spamming beans, but this play is just so tantalizing. Actually, I could do both of these. Should I play around? Mm -hmm. I think it is like this, actually. Yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> Not a troll, bro. <laughs> okay. So... Space time dies. Imp will die for free next turn because Rotovega is so good. 
And who knows what he's gonna do. I'm expecting to see some buried treasures and stuff. Ooh, Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Thank you, Woof Doof. Woof Doof Doof Uh, so there's really no point in bouncing. I think it's gonna be... Why don't we hit him with this cheese first? I like that one. Maybe we'll get another bean. We can play two for get for gourmet nuts. It's pretty good to play two for gourmet nuts because uh, this usually dies for free, and if you can't play tricks, there's not much you can do about that. Just don't get like <laughs> this firework zombie. He got smelly though, which is this after firework zombie the best three drop. Come on. Ah, oh, just kills the. Uh, I guess there's a couple of things that kill the Triceratops there, but not a lot. Not a whole lot. That was a good freeze. He covered his own his own Shazam with that. At least our Admiral Navy Beans live. If nothing else. <coughs> yeet. Yeet. Oh, they're doing so much damage. I love you, Admiral. One more bean. One more bean. Hell yeah! That's what I call a bean. This man about to get bean. He to he gonna get beat. Wait, so I guess we get the teleportation zombie, right? We are gonna go face. We are gonna go face. Oh, we just got more beans. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. This is so much damage. And the man already committed a grave sin. Basically has two brains to deal. That's huge giganticus to deal with all this stuff. No block meter anymore. Come on. We six and one. Let's go. Got a, he ain't got no chains. He ain't got no nothing. He ain't got nothing. Got him. Six and one. Keep it going. Hey, Dave Bay. You just went through cataract surgery. And you've been watching YouTube VODs while recovering. Wait, if you had cataract surgery, how can you watch? Oh, that's just on one eye and you're watching with the other eye. See? See? That's why I'm stupid. But I'm really happy that... I'm really happy. It is the most meaningful... Insane, meaningful thing in my life when people tell me that my videos, my content, helps them get through a tough time in their life. And I've had people from everyone from they were sick, they've had surgery. I've, I even had someone tell me that my, my, my content helped him not get swept into gangs because he lives in a little bit of a rough neighborhood. And that... He never really had any role models, and the fact that he could see someone relatable on YouTube that he could look up to, that's cool, who isn't a thug, kept him away from that life. Like, it's just, being a YouTuber is crazy, you know? Because what am I doing already? I'm making silly, silly gaming videos. But the fact you're reaching the people, and you're just kind of, I don't know. It's, it seems like, it seems like the, the ways that you, maybe the less, the teachable lesson is the ways you influence people is much more than what meets the eye. And that's only probably the very few percentage of people who are even telling me about this. About, you know? How many percentage of people that I've actually had affected them go out of their way to, to send me a message about it, you know? It, it means a lot. I'm, I'm saying it from the, from the depths of my heart. Silliness aside. So thank you. Amen. I don't know. More beans. Now we get back to spamming people's face with beans. This community is pretty nice. I'm I'm hashtag blessed every day. Just don't get in another one that can just come on. Just don't get exactly tennis champ or like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> We've been playing against crappy opponents with amazing luck is exactly what's been going on. 
<laughs> oh no. Just leech, just don't. Here, we need to slow this down a little bit. We can get the free trade here, so that's awesome. And we'll just spam another bean. Get it going. That's right, no cards for you, little Jew. <laughs> Prime up Optimus Prime. I never watched the Transformer movies. Um. Brah. But is that, is that an Optimus Prime thing? Is that kind of thing you would say? <sighs> what do I do here? <laughs> this guy's so aggressive. Where did this come from? He just got this from Egg. This guy... His eggs are godlike. I guess the first one was a summoning, but still, man. What is this? He's setting this up. This is so sus, but we, there's no way to actually. My gut tells me I should be mugging this because we are gonna get just screwed. I think we're gonna do. Well, he'll proc the block. Doing nine is a stretch. But maybe he's really running Valk. You know what? Screw it. He's proccing my block either way. He got con man. Like, for real? <laughs> Probably one of the best things he could have. Oh no, I could have made him not proc my block now that he got a bullseye. Oh no, that was good for me and I didn't realize. God damn it. <laughs> We're still doing one damage in lane uh, five, by the way. Look at his health. It's eight. Now, even though he's got the full block meter, it still works. Getting an extra card here is nice. Yes! Shrinking. Because front attacks before back, guys. So watch his health go to 7, and then the Admiral Navy Bean, which is in the back, attacks him and makes his block meter go, go poop. What is happening here? There's another shrinking. We might be able to get away with some cheese here. Wow, it's godlike. Absolutely fantastic. Look at what is happening here. Go straight to zero. And then go straight to... Did I just miss lethal? For real? Did I just legit miss lethal though? I totally... Well, he had the answer, but I totally missed Letha there. I probably should have been more greedy and shrinking 2-3-4 two, two, instead of 1-2-3. Go for the win. I, I, I mean... I'm gonna be as careful as possible here. I don't wanna die to bonus attack, you know. So far, so good. What could he have now? I don't think he can. I don't think he can have. A nibble or two would be nice, but... If he gets nibble from this chemist, this is some BS. Alright, I think we got him. Pretty sure we have him, guys. Yes, and then the... The little bulls, he's got the full block meter, but the bullseye in the front kills him. Honestly, Navy Bean? Or Sting Bean, whatever? Sting Bean carry. Why is it called Sting Bean and what's with the glasses? Is there a reference here that I've been looking at this card for seven years and I still don't get? Wait a sec. I must have gotten this when I did the card descriptions. I try to warn them. This is going to sting. But the zombies, they never listen. Who is this a reference to? I literally have no idea. Uh, we're 7 and 1 now, right? Oh, we kicking. We kicking. Touch with this deck. The beans have been pretty good. This is toxic. Wow, I'm not a good human being, but I'm keeping this hand. This against brains, there's some heroes. If it was Z, I don't know. If it was Z-Mech and Smash, it wouldn't matter. If it was Neptuna, it wouldn't matter. Against Brainstorm, 
This is full toxicity. Two forget-me-nuts, which counter all the tricks, and then all of his tricks just do damage, so you keep two photosynthesizers? I mean, come on, man. This is toxic. Oh, wow. Never mind. Jesus. That actually was a really good play. I mean, it, it, honestly, it wasn't. I, I was thinking that it's a trick-based deck because he passed turn one, but he was just going for a mustache. And this makes it super awkward. I think it's going to be here, and then we can do the Rotobiga Protect next turn. One way or another. One way or another. I'm going to... One way. You know that One Direction song is actually a cover of an 80s song? And it's not about being into a girl, it's about stalking. <laughs> Fun facts with Fry Him Up. Oh, he's probably going for a bungee plumber, right? Do we make the bungee plumber do nothing here no matter what? Methinks yes. Nice bungee plumber, bro. Next time, keep it to your... And this clears his field and gives us such a strong advantage coming into the next turn. I, 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 this is probably going to just be an insurmountable lead. Yes! Nice bungee plumber, bro! He had the mustache synergy and everything! Citron just too OP. Holy moly with this hand, man. It's got another one. So it's definitely big Triceratops and we buff this. Should I commit another minion, though? He's going to bungee. But maybe I should not let him bungee. Well, which one is he? What does he even want to bungee, though? There's too many good targets. Okay, so let's go like this. All right. It's like you. Like you. I mean, this one grows anyway when he bungees. So does he want this? Which is his best target right now? I don't really know. I mean, this will live at least another turn. This one's always dying. The bungee can only kill one thing. If we do this, then he kills two things. All right. He's always gonna kill something. So let's make it limited to one thing. Have your have your pick, dude. What do you want to kill? Well, you want to kill the Rotobega? Oh, that's what he's doing. Oh, he, uh, no, he still can't. Wait. Does that give him three extra brains? No, no, it gives him two. Okay. I mean, he hit this, but... Wow, I really thought he had Bungie Plumber that turn, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he don't know. So we're doing two, and then six here. This deck is so aggressive. Jeez. Calm down, deck. He's up a little bit. So we have the almighty play of... This dude. What should we be buffing here? I probably should do this first before, just in case we get a better 4-drop. I don't know what it could be. I don't know what it could be, what it could be, what it could be, what Don't even know what to see. I think going face is the best here. What be? No bonus attacks for yo ass. I don't know. It just makes a 3-6 next turn going on his face. Fruit cake. This guy just didn't get his bungee. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. Thank you, Deccan, gifted one to Starch Lord. The Christmas love is going round and round today. Thank you, guys. Oh, and forget me nuts for sure to make his tricks even less efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out the forget me nuts were super toxic. That makes it eight and one, right? I think the answer is yes. We going for that nine? Oh, this guy's not gonna survive. Okay, there's the bungee. Fine. After all these years, he finally got his. Okay. Goodbye. It was nice playing with you, fat, squishy, fat, squishy, plan? Plan? Plant, maybe it was supposed to say, and ran out of space? Plant would make more sense than plan. 
What would a fat, squishy plan be? Doesn't make sense. Uh, the answer is yes. Just saying. I just saying. Donkey Kong n number number number. The incomplete usernames. That's the theme of today. That's an awfully good hand. Awfully good. It's just awful. Uh, I think the key, that what I've learned in the tournament, is that when you're playing Guardian into Crazy, that was always the matchup I had to prepare for. You front Con Man with your tutus. Doesn't matter if you're if you have a Galactic Cactus, a Lima Pluridon, I guess if you're Citron. That is what I learned. This is an awfully good play. I'm going to go for the Triceratops though, because Brainstorm really has almost no answer to that. And if he starts trying to invest into keeping his 1-1 comment alive. It's just a misallocation of military resources. Uh, the answer is yes. Congrats to the 68%. So close. The guys, we're one off. Yeah, man. Brains, brains. Oh. Um, so the most common play is just gonna be leap. What's the common thing between Conman and Brainbender? So Rotobega and this is good, but it means he still could leap and could potentially get a 4-4 and kill this. So photosynthesizer is is probably more solid here. I'm gonna go with what I think is gonna be the in the case of Leap, which is almost for sure what he's doing here. Play it dry! I think that's how we do it. <laughs> this is going on BuzzFeed. See, now 3-5 is usually fine. Oh! And the Stompadon does the Dino Roar because the Stompadon saw the card draw. I guess it makes sense. It changes it and then it draws a card. That's what the card says. So it actually is consistent. But the Stompadon just buffed his hand for 2-2. Two, two, so this sucks. Okay, make it 3-3 three, three, because he's packing a Quasar. This is just the most bullshit leap I've ever seen. Dude, ease up! Holy... Okay. Let's just mitigate. It's just damage control and for fudge sake, get rid of the Stompadon. We're doing a bunch of damage to face here. Was that actually right? Rotovega Protect probably would have done it because he can't play any tricks there, but it's a pretty good value. Anyway, too bad we can't play that Soul Patch. That would be nice. This guy just got into back into the game from getting that good of a leap. Uh, forget me this is probably the way here, right? This looks pretty good. He left three brains. You gotta just play around tricks. He could have a fruitcake. He definitely has superpower. So he can play one superpower here. Hopefully just not Chopper Deadly. Deadly would be devastating. Devastating. Lightning! God damn it! So he kills that. About the same. This reincarnation is gonna have to pop off and give us something good, expensive, and just useful, man. <sighs> Improvised Admiral Navy Bean against Brainstorm? Honestly, it's a 2 2. We got two for Gourmet Nuts on the board. What the hell is this? It ain't bad. It ain't good, but it ain't bad. Screw it. We're going face, guys. That's what's up. Is this a Valk Leap Valk deck? Eureka! Here we go. We're just doing the aggression, so that'll... This Rotobig equals 5 damage this turn. We actually spent it on Admiral Navy Bean in a 
desperate attempt to finish this game sooner than later. Smash Super. Got Smash Super and Boogaloo Super. Good ones. Ow. We don't really have much in the way of catch catch up mechanics in this deck. Whoa. I have the bad hookups. Oh, that's fun. Eight and two! <laughs> it was a valve day. Surprise! Honestly, I think he would have been dead a long time ago without that stop. <laughs> game hurt. You guys want one more game? As a palate cleanser? One more game. Oh, it's perfect. It's huge Gigunkus. Gigunkus, that's a good curve. Okay, huge Gigunkus. That's fun. No BS, please. Okay. That could end up changing his play. Thank you for feeding me cards. It didn't change the play at all. Honestly, this play ain't bad. I'm gonna do it. He conjures, but... It's okay. Oh, sorry, I just got a really bad hiccups. Is that smart? No, I shouldn't have played Admiral. Whoops. It, w it was Photosynthesizer in 3, Triceratops in 2. Not in that order. Ugh. Barrel. Damn. so awkward. You probably just push face, right? Like this. <laughs> That's a cool cube now. convince you that Rotobig is not bad? I don't think Rotobig is bad. What tier did I give it? I'd probably give it at least B tier, right? could be the whole whole game right here he got freaking surfboard and a teleport oh i have such bad hiccups
Okay. I'm rough. Cool. You can draw cards with Rotobigo, that's fine. Kills that instead of the Triceratops. Very questionable decision. Wow. <laughs> but the surfboard lives. Should I cuke? Close this game down a drop. Okay. Where'd all my cards go? Is the real question. Sir, spawns occur. This might be our ticket to win, though. It just cost him a lot. This will kill the gladiator. For him, getting Valk is very sad. It doesn't really do much. Blocks for two turns, I guess. <sighs> I feel like this could end up turning into a cycle cap scenario. He's probably t teleporting in the mech sir, no? This is going to be a hard game to win, guys. Almost impossible. He still gets the Mondo Bronto because of the card draw. Ow. He also got a deadly min minion here, which sucks. This honestly, in, in the bog, he wins a lot of trades. If we can get like a... If we can get a bean here and start cycling, maybe we could beat this guy with just a bunch of beans. Ground. Honestly, though, it's a little expensive. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for free. I know it's weird, but we need like a cheaper bean. Um, cuke, and then this is pretty good. So this will be seven. We could commit this. I kind of still want to do the beam thing. <laughs> this is pretty good. Still got seven, though. Alright, so... <laughs> 
so that's guaranteed. <laughs> Both ace drops win. All right, guys. <laughs> We're going to call it there. I can't talk anymore. I've had hiccups for the last year. Oh, man. Oh. All right, guys. Anyway, it's going on YouTube. That was unfortunate. <laughs> what did we lose to? Just a bunch of leaps, man. I guess leap beats beans. That's the lesson of the story, guys. That's the that's the today's lesson. That will go on YouTube. This this deck is legitimately good. It's a very good alternative to the regular, like counter tron. The fact that it pushes damage a little more, you know, it has some really really high damage potential plays with Marine being an admiral um, instead of. Just, you know, building stuff up. Maybe Brainana is really what this deck actually needed in the end. Oh well. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. That was fun. Peace, this is Fry.